So there is some disadvantage to having the uh, the uh, goats mowing the lawn. <laughs> I seem to have an audience now. Oh, thanks. There you go. There's no ears up close. No ears was a show goat. Why don't you get a burr on her head? Anyways, no ears was a show goat, so she's sort of friendly. The other ones are reasonably well handled. I was sneezing. He's one of the babies. Anyways, I'm going to be working on this thing, but I don't really have a lot to do on it. Um, I've got the uh, wiring more or less done for the uh, electronics. I got the uh, PlayStation 2 controller uh, hooked up to the Arduino and it's reading values from it in a test program. I've got the uh, accelerometer gyro uh, set up um, hooked up and working. It took me a little while last night to get it working. I couldn't figure out for half an hour why I wasn't getting Hey! Drop that! Sorry. I grabbed an electrical cord. I didn't want a fried goat. Anyways. Um, I got the accelerometer hooked up last night and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. It took me about half an hour to figure out that, oh yeah, I forgot to connect up the ground on it, but now it seems to be working giving reasonable values. And that's with another test program. So now the key thing is to make the PlayStation 2 controller work with that uh, side chair code. And uh, it shouldn't be too big a deal. My biggest concern, I think I said it before, was that uh, um, whether or not it's going to use up too much processing time. Because those little microcontrollers aren't exactly high powered. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. If it uh, isn't going to work, then I'll just go back to the way that, uh, you know, his manual system, which was just to or a joystick hardwired to the Arduino and a couple of switches. We'll see how that one goes. Regardless, all I have to do with this thing today is I just have to weld the little bracket onto here for the accelerometer. Ideally, I think it uh, like they had it, that's where they had it mounted on theirs was near the right wheel at the, right, the uh, pivot point of the axle. Ideally, it seems to me, the best place for it would be in between the two axles suspended right here. Uh, but that seems to me to be a massive target for anything uh, that I'm going over. So I think that would be a bad idea. I'll, I'll accept that there might be a little bit of inaccuracy. In any case, and then I have to sort out what I'm going to do for a seat. I've got a bucket seat from a Cadillac <laughs> that is probably too big to uh, to work on here with the motors. If the motors weren't here, if the motors were underneath, it'd probably be fine. But uh, but seeing as how the look nosy, um, seeing as how don't bite the cords. Okay, how about you guys bugger off? Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, if the motors were on the bottom of the frame, if they were underneath it, it would probably work. And uh, you don't take no for an answer, do you? Anyways, um, if the motors were underneath the frame, I would certainly have enough clearance and I could put the seat far enough back that it wouldn't, you know, the fact that it's a big, heavy, wide seat wouldn't be a problem because this frame is actually quite wide. I actually measured it, it is wide enough. Problem is, it's not narrow enough to fit between the two motors, so it would have to sit ahead of the motors, and that seems to me that most of the weight of the seat would be ahead of the axle, and that just isn't going to work. So, I might be sitting on a little tractor seat or something like that, but we'll see how we go here. Um, I'll sort that out, well, probably next week, but uh, regardless. Anyways, that's enough rambling. I'll go and weld that bracket on. And I guess i got to close the door, otherwise these guys are going to be watching. And, uh... See, these guys are all busy. These two, obviously, are full. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. So, I do like to be honest and uh, admit when I'm wrong. Uh, one thing I was wrong about recently was... Uh, I referred to that chip, uh, the accelerometer chip, as 
being interchangeable in name with the accelerometer gyro, but the reality of it is it's two chips. One's an accelerometer, one actually is a gyro. Not a mechanical gyro, but it's an electronic gyro. The other thing I was recently wrong about was something a lot more happy to be wrong about. Ta-da! That Cadillac seat doesn't look great, but uh, it damn well fits. And the balance point, where it's sitting right now, actually pretty close to where I'd want it to be. Um, this one is an electric seat. Uh, I don't really need the electric seat part of it, but uh, it's an electric seat. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll try and position it in a spot where it um, where it's more or less centered, but then I can tweak it with the uh, with the electric motors and all that. I might have to see if I can raise it up a little bit. It's awfully close to the motors, but it's actually not too bad. See this? I don't know if this was the driver. I think this was the driver's seat because there's some trim on this side. So it makes sense that this would have been the driver's seat. Regardless. So once again, if I well. Here's what I might be able to do. How, how much further back can this thing go on the tracks? Can actually go back, I don't know how far this moves. I think it go back a fair bit. So maybe what I'll do is I'll try and position this such that these bolts, or that these brackets will hit this cross member, and then I'll just have to fabricate a new uh, cross member in between here and there. Once again, it kind of goes to show you that if I would have probably had a better plan right from the start it wouldn't have been so much of a of a faff but uh, never left nevertheless yeah across my right here would have been probably about perfect uh, straight across we'll see what I can do let me just put a piece of angle on or something like that or I've got plenty of one by three tubing there and uh, and all that and that would work as well so let's uh, see what I can figure out with this and I'll bring you guys back Okay, so I just sat in this thing, and uh, I know I said I was going to resolve something before I brought you guys back, but I just sat in this thing to get a feel for how this was going to work, and the seat, well, it's shifted a bit to that direction, but uh, it actually will work pretty well. It'll look a little asymmetric because of the headrest, but I would always take that off. But uh, you really come to the realization that when you're sitting in that seat, you're perfectly positioned to put your feet on this as a footrest, but... You're sitting here, and there's, it's just two wheels and a seat. <laughs> it's it's going to be, if this thing goes fast, it is going to be one crazy intimidating thing to, uh, to drive. And, uh, and with a PlayStation controller, it's going to feel like GTA. Insane GTA. So let's get to uh, getting this ready to be mounted. And, uh, and we'll work out there. Actually, before I go and I fabricate any mounts... I wonder if we could just use some, some, uh, oh, no, maybe not. I was thinking maybe I could use a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a U-bolt through there. I suppose I could. There's nothing to stop me from doing that. I could do that on either side there. And, uh, and see how that goes. I don't know if I have any one and a half inch U-bolts, so, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I've got to always bend a piece of, uh, threaded rod, or I'll just go to tractor supply or, Homely Depot or some one of those places. Anyways, enough rambling. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like uh, in the final, well, position of the mounting. The seat will have to move forward some, but it's the electric motor still works, so I'll use them. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the front, but I know what I'm going to do for the back. I'm going to, uh, I made these little brackets, they're just basically pieces of plate, and they'll go uh, the weld to the tube, you know, level with the uh, surface of the top of the tube. And uh, the front of this bracket is is resting actually on the tube. And uh, it'll be bolted at the back with two bolts, and I think that that'll be sufficient to uh, support this thing, because most of the weight will actually be resting on the tube. These are just to keep it in position. Um, as far as this front piece, were I a smarter person, I wouldn't have put that cross member in there. As nice and strong as that's going to be, I would have just had a piece of tubing across there, and I would have just had it rest on the tubing, I would have drilled out the tubing. So I'm not going to cut these off, so I'm just going to have to figure out how I'm going to tie into them. And I might just tie into them with 
a piece of this one by three. I don't know what might I do. I don't know. You know what I might do is I might just get a piece of angle. You know, one and a quarter inch angle. Run it across here with the uh, the uh, blade facing down and one piece on, up here. Cut it off so that it'll you know, round, cut a round hole. Flush here, flush there. And do the same on the other side and that'll be a hell of a lot easier than doing tubing or or uh, anything else like that. These guys are all pissed off because they're not been fed. That's why they're being noisy. But anyways, I think I'm gonna knock off for tonight. Yeah, it's getting a little bit later. The sun is already setting. So uh, I think I'm gonna knock off, but I think this chair is gonna actually work surprisingly well. Now I did have to adjust or turn the motors on so that it put it at its highest setting. And this side would clear fine if I dropped it a lot, but this side wouldn't. Because it's a different shape, I guess, to clear the hump in the center of the vehicle. Um, I have no idea why they would make it so that the headrest was offset. Unless they were meant to sit partially in the center of this thing. I don't know. Silliness. Nothing I'm going to be too worried about. Uh, in any case, I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, it always feels like there's not quite enough progress for, you know, for an evening's work, but uh, I got my bracket sorted out. I got my seat sorted out. Um, I won't weld this on until I can drill the holes that match the uh, accelerometer. Um, and I'll thread it and then that'll just run into it. Uh, so this guy should be welded up tomorrow. I still have to do the software work to, you know, adapt it to that uh, that controller. So it won't be running tomorrow night, but it should be running on the weekend. Although one of the days on this weekend, I'll be looking at the uh, at the pickup truck there and seeing if I can figure out what the deal is with it. Regardless, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. This is probably a fairly long one.